This video is going to show you how you can play Power World on your MacBook for free. This isn't a video on how to pirate the game, you will still need to purchase it, but the method of playing on your Mac will not cost you anything like using Crossover or Parallels. I have a MacBook Pro with an M1 Max chip and today I'll be showing you exactly how I'm running Power World directly on my machine. The first thing you're going to want to do is head over to getwhiskey.app. I'll have a link to this in the description down below. And then all you want to do is go ahead and click download latest. Next, navigate to store.steampower.com. I'll have a link for this as well. And here, instead of clicking install Steam, what you want to do is hover over the Windows icon and click that to download the Windows version of Steam. Now in your downloads, double click on the whiskey.zip. This should extract the whiskey application. And if you double click on that, it will prompt you to install some dependencies. So just click next and that will download and install for you. Then you want to click on create a bottle and just name this Steam and click create. This takes some time to run and sometimes can be a bit unresponsive. So what I like to do is click the refresh button. This will remove it from the view. Then once it's done, it will appear by itself. Now click on run and locate the steam.exe file. Select it and click open. After a few moments, you should be prompted to go through the Steam setup. So just go through the steps and install Steam. And then once you finish it, you should get an updating Steam pop up. Just let that run through. Give it a few moments to load up Steam. And once Steam is open, you can then use your credentials to sign into Steam. Now I've logged in and purchased Power World, and this is within my library. You can see it's prompting me to click install. So when I click install, I'm just going to select the default, which is the C drive. Click install on here, accept this dialog and just let it run through and download it. I have seen a couple issues with this and mainly I think when you click away from Steam in this moment, it sometimes lags and loses its progress and then I end up having to kill the processes and come back. So I would recommend just leaving it on this screen until it's complete. However, if you do run into this issue, then what you wanna do is kill all bottles, which will close down Steam and then you can open up Steam again. This doesn't seem to affect the download progress, so this might just be a rendering issue on the Steam client. Once your download is complete, you should see the big green play button. So if you go ahead and click that, you'll get a little warning about a graphics card. I've just gone ahead and clicked no because the graphics card I have doesn't even come up on the list. But then after a little while, the game should load.